Welcome to the new Synergy Gradebook tutorial. In this set of videos, I'll be going over how to set up, how to create assignments, and how to do some of the different things you can do in the new gradebook that just weren't possible in the classic, as well as pointing out some of the features that aren't fully functional at this time. First, how do you access the new gradebook? As of right now, you go to the gradebook tab at the top of the screen and you're going to choose the new gradebook, which is about two thirds of the way down. Uh, eventually, the classic gradebook will be sunset and this will take over as gradebook main. But for the time being, as of the time, film, time of filming this video, it's the new gradebook feature. And it will open to this gradebook. Now, as you can see, it looks significantly different than the classic gradebook. It's much more colorful, it's organized differently. And in this series of videos, I'll be specifically focusing on how to use the standards based grading version of it. So, the very first thing you're going to want to do is sort or filter by standards view. And to do that, you come click on this little thing right in the center, this button in the very center above the gradebook, and you're going to click on it. And it's going to give you two parent options, either assignment or standard view. If you choose the assignment view, that's going to be how you'll access the traditional gradebook. And I can show you what those options are really quick. Um, you can organize your gradebook by unit, by category, or by week. But for this, I want to stick to standards because that's what I'm going to be going over in this video. You can still sort it by assignment or by standard or by parent standard. It depends on how, how you have your class set up. Uh, for this video, I'll be sticking with just the traditional view by standard. And there it is. You've got each standard as a separate color. You've got your standard score. And then on the right side, sorry, left side of the screen, you've got your student grade, uh, which is the average of their student standard scores. So you can do a couple different things there as far as organizing your gradebook and how you view it. You can also have specifically filter it for things that you're looking for. Uh, I've played with it a little bit, and at this point in time, it doesn't do as much as I would like, but try it for yourself. The next thing we need to do, and this is a very important step, is we need to turn on the auto save feature. Uh, when we first got access to this new gradebook, the auto save feature was not turned on. And then if you were doing something, creating an assignment, whatever, and you went out of it, you lost everything. Or if you were entering grades and you didn't save manually, uh, it, it you lost it. Uh, so really quick, there's a way you can turn on the auto save feature, and this will probably save you a lot of headache and stress later on. So please turn it on. You're going to go up to the upper right hand corner here, and you can see that I have a little green tab. Yours might be yellow, it might be uh, orange, but we're just going to right click on it. And when we right click on it, it's going to pop up a little window that says auto save, and we just want to toggle this to the on position, and that should turn your uh, little icon in the upper right corner green. That just means that all saves have been done. If it hasn't saved and it's in the process, it will be a yellow or an orange color. And then we're ready to go now that you've turned on the auto save. The next we're going to go through all the different options that you have for this new gradebook in the standards based grading view. So under options, you have five tabs. So I'm just going to click on the options button. It's going to give me five you know, sub tabs here. Some of these are not working at all in the new gradebook, and uh, Synergy is aware of this and is working on it, and hopefully we have a fix at some point. And some of them work in the traditional gradebook, but they're just not working yet in the standards-based gradebook. And again, hopefully these are things that Synergy corrects in the near future. So I'll kind of go piece by piece. The very first tab we're going to start in is the Students tab. And this is what you want to see from student information. So I have student picture on, class mark on, and class percentage on. Whether you're traditional or you are standards-based, you're going to want to have both uh, this class mark and class percentage turned on so you can see their score and their mark. Um, if you want the picture, you can have the picture. I like having the picture on. Uh, and then if you want, you can change how it's sorted. On the other side of this student tab, we have drop students, class points, show student ID, and audit indicator. I keep those turned off all the time because they're not really relevant to what I'm doing in my class and I don't need that information showing all the time. Uh, every once in a while, if you need to see a drop student, you could come in here, toggle this on, and it would show you the drop student, then you could toggle it back off. So those are the different options. So on the left side of the student tab, I have them all on, and on the right side, I have them all off, but you can toggle them on should you need. The next important one is the one at the very bottom. Apply to all classes. I have it turned on because when I make a change here, I want it to apply to all of my classes. I don't want to have to go through and do this individually for each class that I teach. 
uh, each period. So I'm going to turn it on. It's up to you whether you want to do it that way or not. So that's everything on the student tab. The next is the grading tab. The very first one is the fill down grades. This will probably be toggled off for you. I would suggest toggling it on. This is what gives you the little green arrow to fill down a column. Um, it's really, really handy. If you get to the end of your grading, say you've graded, you know, you have 35 kids in your class and you've graded 25 kids turned it in, you gave them a grade, but you have 10 kids that didn't and you just won't, instead of putting a zero in for all of them, you just go to this, put a zero in for the first one and fill down and it will only fill in those columns or those rows that are blank. It will not overwrite a, a student score. So I would suggest having the fill down on. Uh, the next one is the show posted grade. Right now, we're not in the middle of a marking period at the time I'm uh, filming this video, but if I turn it on, you can see that it's going to create a column here for posting grades. This is one of the big advantages I find over the Classic Gradebook is it does allow you to post grades directly from your gradebook. So right now, it's not in a posting window. I can't post grades, so there's a red X. However, if this was a posting window, there would be a blue button here that simply says post and to post grades, all I would have to do is click the post button and then it would fill in all of these student grades with whatever grade was posted to the report card or transcript. Now, if you wanted to add comments or alter a grade, you'd still have to go the traditional route by going to the report card tab at the top of the Synergy screen and then choosing students and then going from there just like you did previously. Uh, but as far as posting just for like progress reports and things, it's super easy to do in here. But as it's not a posting window right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because I don't need to see it. The next one is show comment codes. I have this turned on uh, because I really like seeing the comment codes. It posts it in the gradebook underneath. So you can see that this one, uh, a student has a zero. The parent called, they were absent. And then MA, this was a missing assignment, uh, missing assessment. Uh, you can see that there's health waivers, uh, whether it's a athletic event, things like that. It's all coded in your gradebook, so you maybe know why a student was missing. Or if it's a zero, is it zero because it's missing, or is it a zero because it is in uh, insufficient evidence for standards-based graders? The next one is the at-risk percentage. As of right now, at the time of filming this video, this does not work in new gradebook. It doesn't work in the class in the traditional gradebook, and it doesn't work in the standards-based gradebook in the new gradebook. As far as I know, it still works in the classic gradebook, uh, but it's it is something that Synergy is aware of and is working on. Um, so at this point, the at-risk percentage, where it would normally highlight their grade red if they were below a certain mark, uh, that is not working at the moment. But Synergy is aware of it, and hopefully, it gets fixed in the future. Under the assignments tab, you have a few different options. Uh, first is you can adjust the width of the columns, which is really, really handy, um, and it adjusts all of them. You still can go in and adjust them individually by holding right between and dragging and still do that. Uh, but for the most part, it's easier to just uh, do them all at once. Uh, assignment group totals, you can have on, you can have off. It doesn't really affect much in the standards-based gradebook. It doesn't do anything. Uh, the next one is the assignment sorting. This is how you want it to go. Oldest to newest, newest to oldest. It's up to you. Uh, show summary score in standards mode. If you're in standards mode, the only thing this does will add decimal points to your standard score. So if I turn it on, you'll see that these columns will go to two, two decimal places. That's really it in the summary score. Uh, so I turn it off because we mostly deal with uh, whole numbers in the standards-based grading, so it doesn't really matter, so I just have it off. You can do analysis bands, things like that, assignment groups if you choose. And then if you're in a traditional gradebook, you could turn on points or percentage, but if you're doing standards-based grading, you don't need either one highlighted. Uh, you just want the whole raw scores. Next, under Display tab, there's a few things you can turn on. First of all, the grade detail at this point isn't doing a whole lot. Um, you can turn on whether you want the grade level to show. So it'll pop, if I choose to turn this on, it'll just pop up what grade these students are in. Uh, section ID, missing count. What I will tell you with the missing count is if you're coding your assignments as MI, this will work. If you're coding your assignments as MA, uh, it will not tally MA. It only tallies MI. So just something to keep in mind as you move forward. And then attendance. I have it on just because I like to track student attendance in my gradebook as well, just to see, you know, if a student has a zero, I want to know if they have a zero because they were at an athletic event or if they have a zero because they were there and just never turned it in. The last component of this is the header field. 
Now, if you are in the new grade book, but your traditional grading, um, these mostly work. However, if you're doing a standards-based grade book in the new grade book, many of these just simply don't work. So I'll kind of go through and, and let you know which ones do and which ones don't. Um, first, notifications works. Um, the high score uh, does not work. Um, so I can go ahead and toggle that off. It, it doesn't work. Median score doesn't work. Low score doesn't work. Max value does work. Category does work. Um, progress bar, uh, it does not work. Average score does not work. Mode score doesn't work. Due date and points do work. Um, so as you can see what I have right here, the ones turned on, I believe, all work. The ones turned off do not in standards-based grading. However, remember, if you're in the traditional new gradebook, uh, most or all of these should work. Okay, so that covers all the different tabs and setting up the gradebook. There's just a couple more things I want to show you really fast before we conclude this video. The next is the reports. Um, if you're using the reports feature, it is exactly the same as it was in the classic gradebook. Nothing has changed. Um, so all the reports you were able to run, run exactly the same way in new gradebook as they did in the classic gradebook. So that is uh, no change. The last thing I'm going to show you is one of the features that I really love about the new gradebook. Uh, how many times have you been pulling students back to your desk to talk to them or to look at your their grade on the computer and you have to figure out a way to not show every student in your class? They now have a feature for that. So all you have to do is under student name, there's like the top half of an hourglass here. This is the filter button. You're just going to click the filter button for student name. You're going to select the student you want and click OK. It is going to only show that student's grade. So it makes it very easy to have conversations with students on an individual basis and uh, without showing them anyone else in the class. And then to go back, all you have to do is click that filter again, go to the select all, hit OK, and it will bring all the students back into your gradebook. So that is the gradebook overview, how to get started, how to find things, how to adjust the settings, and how to make it look great. Uh, so you under standards based. And remember, if you're doing the traditional gradebook and the new gradebook, a lot of those features are going to work. And a lot of the stuff in this video will be applicable as well. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to make an assignment and all of the settings for that. And then in the final one, I'll be showing you how to kind of utilize the gradebook a little more effectively, entering scores and some of the new stuff that makes it very different. Thanks for watching. and We'll see you again in the next video.